so another edition in VU 11.5, it's now particles can interact with a static ecosystem. So as example, we'll go create um, maybe some platform. Okay, and I don't want very big for the this example. And before we create the object and make it interact, so right now, as example, we can go ahead and create ecosystem. So let's go ahead and preload some object. And I'm just using simple this sphere, a bit too much of this, so let's avoid. So for example, here is our ecosystem. We can populate with trees or anything for um, how say some time of render. We can do just the spheres. Okay, next I want to create my emitter. And I'll just do on top right here. Let's put it above. Let's go same, add particle ecosystem. And I'm going to add another sphere okay we'll go ahead enable the particle motion enable and right here when we're going into the edit particle motion you notice we have a collision with static ecosystem so let's enable this point the next i want to actually decrease density i don't want it and as well we'll go populate once because i don't want to kind of overload the system So we have to recompute and maybe decrease a little bit on the scaling. Okay, when we can preview, you can. Okay, let's go to switch. To the seconds. And just shrink so we can kind of just faster and right here you can see interaction like right here example again this is just a preview render but you can see interaction how they're going around like in this area around ecosystem okay of course we can make a little bit more interesting with this if you want it we can go ahead and maybe increase velocity up to 80%. Okay, as well, we can take a cube and right click, go to objects and enable collisions. Notice right now it's not in one menu, you have a sub menus. So you have a sub menu of the layers and objects. So we'll go create right here. Okay, let's go to our plane, recompute. And right here, there you go, you can see now the bouncing and collision kind of working. So they're affecting with the ecosystem that we populated inside. Even this is small look addition, but this is very calculation intensive was um, how to calculate with ecosystem. And I see a lot of uses of example, if we increase thickness, we can create a snowflakes falling and stick on a trees. We can create the rains that dropping down through the tree. And I probably go create some tutorials how to do this so we can preview, which is create a real interactions between ecosystem and environment. So thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please again remember visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.